TPS Nutrients is a company I found through their silica. For the longest time, I was using Silica Blast by Botanic Air, and after doing a test on the nutrient, I found that it took forever to dissolve, so I started researching other types of silica. Their version of Silica Blast dissolves immediately, and it has a higher concentration of silica, so you're getting way more bang for your buck. Now being a fan of this nutrient, I decided to get their whole entire bundle and test it out to compare to cocoa for cannabis. Now, cocoa was rinsed in water, then dunked in 1200 ppm CalMag water that was pH balanced to 6.2 for about 12 hours twice. Four gallons of this cocoa was then mixed with four quarts of perlite and that's how the base soil was created. I also rinsed some of the mix to bring down the ppm to a level more suitable for cuttings and mixed it in the top center of the pot. I'm gonna follow the TPS nutrient feed schedule for cocoa to a T and only make adjustments if I see visible signs of the clone reacting in a weird way. Price-wise, just to get the pot started in cocoa costs $6 per each five gallon pot. Where it gets complicated is the nutrient usage and I'll estimate the cost at the end of this grow by keeping a journal and keeping track of all the amounts used. The full set costs $100 and based on the feed schedule, I'm guessing I'll use about a sixth of all the nutrients per each five gallon pot which I estimate to be about $17. Now the total for all the nutrients and supplies for this grow is $150. This will give you enough supplies for six five gallon pots. This chart maps out the MPKs on each one of these formulas. And we have the weak dosages for each nutrient. And a copy, paste, spits out. Now we're gonna calculate the totals. So I'm just going to do a little bit of it and then analyze it afterwards. So you'll see what I'm doing. Total N right there is 3.2 plus 5 plus 6.6 plus 1.4. Okay, 16.2 is the total N. Next number right here. Could do that in my head. 9.2, 17.6. Uh, it's probably just easier to just do in my head, but I'm gonna double check the numbers. But you get the deal. Here's everything calculated. All right, this is week one. Top is veg, bottom is bloom. And you could see week one, 16.2, 17.6, 20.5. That's really like a eight, nine, 10. If you scale it down, over here it's similar, 8, 9, 10. What I notice is week 1 and week 2 is pretty much identical. 3 and 4 is identical. 5 and 6 is identical. And 7 and 8 is identical. But they all pretty much follow a 8, 9, 10 or a 9, 10, 11 if you scale it down. Right here is where it gets interesting because the N goes down relative to P and K. So that would be like, I'd say an 8. 10 and 12 but um again a lot of k so i've read scientific studies that said there is no need for k beyond a certain point but to see two people that i really respect i mean tps has a line of chemists that make proprietary blends so there has to be some science behind this, and this is a good learning experience because Cocoa for Cannabis also uses, in my opinion, a high level of K, which is potassium. Now, if you go to the Bloom, it does the same thing. N drops down. It's similar to week 8 in Veg. This is like a 8, 12, 15 scaled down. And you'll see nitrogen, nitrogen slowly, slowly gets, gets depleted. depleted, but potassium is at a super high level, again, higher than phosphorus, similar to cocoa for cannabis. So who knows, maybe I'm wrong. And if these plants end up being beautiful, then I'll revise my thoughts, but 
you know, I don't think my plants can get that much nicer when I use the data with phosphorus as the highest in bloom. And that was because I read the references on the scientific journals, which are peer reviewed. So it's not just one person saying that. So we'll see. It's interesting. Calcium magnesium is also in base A. So there is a little bit high level of uh, cal and mag. The one thing I did notice is that there really isn't trace elements in this mix. It might be in A and B. They just don't list them. Sulfur is in the TPS bloom or maybe the signal. One of those. So overall, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. I'm not really too sure because this K being that high on all of these, that's new to me. So we'll keep everything at the recommended feed levels and I'm looking forward to seeing these results. If you wanna get this starter set, check the description for a link that'll get you 10% off. If you wanna check out the day-to-day -day grow on this journal, check out our Discord. And also for the other five slots, check out our other videos.